You had proved all of your enemies wrong. They look so rather. <laughs> Folks, y'all know the catchphrase. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. This one, I'm not going to hold y'all off for too long. Just give me about 11 to 12 minutes of your time. That's all I needed. But anyway, let's get started. You had rather your enemy so badly. These folks got to walk around here with bags or brown paper bags over their heads. Because you know why? That's how embarrassed that they really are. They try to put y'all through so much hell. They were calling you stupid, calling you this, calling you that. You never going to be nothing in life. But guess what? God turned around for your own good. And guess what? Ever since he turned your life around, these people ain't got nothing to say now. Look at them. Over there wishy-washy. Over there struggling. You were going through it. Now they going through it. As they say, what goes up, it must come down. It's just like a roller coaster. One day, they were up. Now tomorrow, they heading down. But you up. Yesterday you were down, but now you're up. This is why each and every last one of us need to be very careful of how we talk about folks, because you don't know what they are going through. And you don't know what type of gift God had put inside of them, you understand? But nobody don't think like that. You see, people like us, we, don't, we ain't got time to be judging other folks. But losers like them, oh, they got plenty of time. They got hours and hours and hours. To talk about folks. Because you know why? Them people ain't got nothing going on with their lives. Them fools over there. That slander your name. Oh, they big time angry. Because you proved each and every last one of them wrong, ladies and gentlemen. When I say y'all proved them wrong, you proved them wrong. And they ain't got nothing to say. They're sitting there looking dumb, looking stupid. They can't believe it. Just like I said in my other video, they thought y'all was so gullible, but y'all end up fooling them. Y'all made them look like a fool. When I said a fool, they look like a clown, a per fool, a per idiotic fool. They really thought y'all were that doggone stupid. Over the years, when y'all were growing up, even your own kinfolk probably thought you were stupid. Because some of y'all was moving slower than others, but that don't even matter. Process is still process. Slow process is still process. While other people out here trying to compete with others, guess what, now they're trying to compete with you, trying to keep up with you. But your progress is not like theirs. Your progress is real. Theirs is built off clout, attention, etc., etc. These people want to be seen, but you ain't trying to be seen or not heard. But guess what? You still getting the attention. And even though you remain humble through it all, ladies and gentlemen, your same very enemies, now they want to be just like you. Now they wish and wishing like hell they never did or said what they had said. This is why they need to be very careful what they say about others. Because you don't know. That person may be struggling today, but tomorrow, even though success doesn't come overnight, but I'm just saying, but by tomorrow, that person can be up. They can be down today and be up tomorrow. People about to learn real quick of how they treat people. But like I said, some folks out here, they so dumb scrubbed in the head. They won't even know success if they're... Right inside their head. They be like, uh, duh. They be looking stupid then. Even you try to teach these fools. Try to screw them on some knowledge. Oh, you think you know it all. I ain't listening to you. I got it. Then when you succeed, they end up going to the next level. Now they want some help. Now they looking stupid. Now they so rattled. They so embarrassed because they thought you were really stupid. They thought you were never going to grow up and be nothing in life. <laughs> but guess who got the last laugh? You did. Laugh now. Cry later, fool. 
Y'all say it with me. Laugh now, cry later, buffoon. They can't, they can't say nothing now. They're too embarrassed. They're so speechless. The cat got the tongue out of their mouths. Now these people got to walk around here looking so embarrassed, looking so stupid. Because they had no idea that you had so much knowledge built inside of you. It's inside of you. It's not on you. And that's what they fail to realize. That knowledge that was built, I mean, excuse me, that knowledge that was given to you was put inside of you. Now you got these same idiots, these same clowns trying to keep up with you, trying to keep tabs on you. Because they feel so ashamed. Now they want to know what you're doing. Back then they used to laugh at you, clown at you. Making all these jokes. Trying to embarrass your name. But guess what? Now they are embarrassed. Now they can't say nothing to you now or about you. All they can do is sit there like little fans that they are. Sit on them bleachers like little cheerleaders. Waving their little fan. Fangirling. Fanboiling. Tell them to get some water because they acting thirsty over you right now. They, <clears throat> excuse me, they, they acting like you, Michael Jordan or Shaquille O'Neal in the court. They acting like y'all Steph Curry or Tom Brady on the field right now or on the court. Now they looking at you like you some type of celebrity. Oh my goodness, he's so hot, she's so hot. They all on y'all jock now. I'm telling you all right now. This is very serious. But as Mike Jones used to say back in the day, back then they ain't want you, now you're hot, they all on you. Back then they made fun of you, but now you prove each and every last one they're wrong by the grace of God. God has blessed you in front of your enemies. And it says, he will prepare a table in the midst of your enemies. And did he just do that? He sure did. So you just open up a barbershop or a salon or start your business or YouTube channel. Watch. Every single last one of your enemies. They are watching. They are lurking behind the shadows. Because they can't believe that somebody like you end up becoming successful. Somebody like you end up using big vocabulary words and they start using these kindergarten and elementary middle school high school vocabulary but when you speak around there with that knowledge girl you know i don't know i ain't graduated high school i ain't go to college i don't have a ged you know i don't know and you're done and you'll be you guys talk with clear english because i don't understand them type of words you understand me b they don't know because you know why all their lives they were around with a bunch of losers Back then, they may call you weird or call you nerds. They probably called y'all the revenge or the nerds or Steve Urkel. But guess what? All them name callings, guess what? Y'all end up becoming successful. Businessman, businesswoman, successful. Now look at them. They ain't doing nothing. When I said they ain't doing nothing, they ain't doing nothing with their lives. But watching you. They probably feel stupid right now. Rattled, embarrassed. Because they try to put a front in front of their all little friends. All their little friends, they had to make laugh. They try to make them laugh by poking fun at you. But look at them. Now they laughing at them. Now they being laughed at. Now they got to walk around here with that bag on their face. Like they're some type of ugly creature or something. And I'm not trying to call nobody ugly, but hey. I get my point across either way. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, y'all have proved all y'all enemies wrong. Dead wrong. You understand? All of them. Dead wrong. Capital D. Dead. Capital W. Wrong. They thought y'all were really gullible. But they got fooled today. Like Cable Hurt, I mean, excuse me, like Cable Hart said. They're going to learn today, and guess what? They have officially had learned not to play with you. Because not only you are chosen, you were built for this. So when they talk about you, guess what? Greatness is coming out of their mouths. 
blessings is coming near to you because guess what? They want you to react, but you didn't. So you end up proving them all of them wrong. One by one, one by one. First they were laughing, now they crying. They so embarrassed. It's a crying shame, ladies and gentlemen. It's really, really sad. But hey, they did it to themselves. You ain't do it. But that's what they get for trying to trigger you, trying to get you to react to them. But you really didn't. Now look at them. They seem to look like a pure fool. But that's what they get. But as I close this video out, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll be back with more content. So with that being said, peace, and I'm out of here. And remember, you have proved all your enemies wrong. And they are so done scrutted, they are so rattled.